problem three. <clears throat> It's asking about the bedding attitude after first phase of deformation. We have two different bedding attitudes. And the second part is asking about the angle between the strikes. So uh, let me first, I take note. Okay, below unconformity is North 38 East 70 SE and about the unconformity is North 17 West 11 Southwest. It's asking about the bedding attitude after first phase of tectonic. Let's call that one as a B prime. Okay. And it's asking about the angle between a and B, a strike of above and below. Bedding A and B. Strike angle. Okay. So let's plot the bedding traces. Below the unconformity, it's north 38 east, 10, 20, 30, 38, north 38 east. It's dipping towards southeast, it's dipping that direction. So I turn, I, rota I rotate my vellum paper to this point and I will count 70 degrees from southeast this is southeast 70 degrees along the west east long line 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 Unconformity, the bedding has a strike of north 17 west, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, north 17 west, and is dipping towards southwest, 11 degrees. Okay, I rotate this one to, to the origin, and uh, 11 degrees. This is 10 and this is the 11. And I will draw the Okay. This is A. Here I can also mention this is a B and this is A. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do to remove the second phase, the effect of the second tectonic phase, we need to find the pole of the beddings and then move the pole of the A to the center and move the pole of the B at the same direction, at the same angle size, and find the new pole. Okay, so you could you could plot the poles at the same time when you draw the trace, but I'm gonna do it in that way. Okay, the pole of this, okay, 11 degrees, from the center 11 degrees, or you can count 90 degrees off from the trace. I'm gonna go with 11, 11, this is the pole of the A, right, the pole of the A, and the second one, okay, 20 degrees from here, 
another 70 it's gonna end up to to the pole of the B this is the pole of the B okay okay so we're gonna move the pole of the A okay it's above about bedding to the center. I will rotate my vellum paper until the pole is going to seat along the northeast side, uh, nor along the west east line, because I'm able to count the angle, right? As you know, this is 11 degrees, right? And I need to count or I need to move the pole of the bedding. Okay, 11 degrees to the same direction. If this pole is going towards that direction, the B should go the same direction. You go 11 degrees from here, along the same small circle, you go 11 degrees. Here is the 11 degrees I'm showing with the triangle. Okay, this is the pole of the B prime. And you show with this arrow, which means you moved it. And then um, I have the pole, now I should draw the trace. You put the pole along the east-west line, okay? Uh, why we are doing this? Because we wanna count the angle and draw a great circle. You cannot do it uh, except rotating your vellum paper and putting the pole along the east-west line. So it's here, it's about 12 degrees from here, right? So if I go 12 degrees from here, and draw my new plane this is gonna be the attitude of the bedding okay below the unconformity after first tectonic phase so I have the, the trace so I can read the strike and dip right the strike is 10 20, 30, 32, 34, 35. So this is north 35 east. And the angle, okay, the dip is indeed is about, okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 78, slash, 78 towards southeast southeast okay so the b prime is north 35 east and is dipping 80 78 degrees towards southeast the second part, what's the strike angle between the bedding A and B? Uh, this is my A and B, right? Either you can count from here or from here, it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm gonna count along the primitive circle. Okay, this is, is 17, right? We know this is the 17. We know this is 38. And the angle between them is the sum of 17 and 38 it's gonna be 55 degrees right or you can count and see how many degrees is so this is 7 17 27 37 47 49 51 53 and 55 okay so the angle between these two it's gonna be Fifty-five degrees.